to everybody. This is another video about the Ouroboros, the self-consuming dragon, the serpent. And in this lesson, I want to teach you and I want you to go seek this out, the importance of the body of Christ. Very important. Probably the most in-depth understanding of this can be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 through 27. But there are other passages that you also need to seek out. Very important to understand the body of Christ because this is what's expected of us and how we are to emulate him. What's also important in this time is understanding God's law that is written in our hearts. Extremely important also in these times. And this can be found in Romans chapter 2, verse 15. An understanding of this in the scripture. Now, this is important because in these times... These wicked ones, these evil principalities in high places, they would, of course, defile anything that is godly and set themselves above, just as Scripture talks about, discusses about the serpent uh, in its spiteful nature, its self-consuming nature. So, what we have going on now and what their name, again, there is the body of Christ, which is what is important to us in God's law. But they've named themselves the body of legislative power. So these principalities create the laws of man and beast, because again, we know what they worship. And they create these laws because they are of the serpent. They are of the dragon. They worship the serpent and the rod. They are self-consuming, uh, consumed by lust for power, lust for money, uh, this is this is what and all the things that the dragon is, that the serpent is. None of these things are of God. So they have made and they make laws that are devices of evil things that consume mankind and have a destructive nature of them because they're not God's law. They make laws that feed themselves and, and all the things they want. Now, many people would be looking for one antichrist. This is what's been widely taught and. 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 reveals very clearly that in the end times, and he even reveals in this, this verse that he knows mankind will be taught to believe and look for one antichrist. But then he explains that no, you will know it is the end because there will be many antichrists. And all of these are self-destructive and self-consuming. They are of the serpent. Remember, they are one, but they are many all in the same sense. Because if you read this, these verses, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 through 27, you'll understand or have a good understanding of what it means by how many can be one, and how it is the body of Christ 
that we are to seek and emulate, but then there is also the body of legislature. And that scripture discusses how many parts can be one, and that's why they have spitefully named themselves the body, as if they're one. So you're not looking for one antichrist, but what you are seeing is these Satans, just like the scripture I pointed out before, and uh, how a house divided cannot stand, that it's even spoken of in scripture by Jesus, that the Satans will fight amongst themselves. Very important. Because again, they're self-destructive by nature, self-consuming. This is what the Ouroboros is. This is what it represents. That the dragon will consume itself. And understand it consumes itself because they grow. They grow to be giants. Just like the book of Giants talks about. They multiply and they have to eat. They have to consume. The dragon has to consume. And its body, it consumes its body. And its body has to be fed. This is very important. It's got to continuously eat because it continuously grows. And in order to do that, and again, if you feed into it, you are of the serpent. You are not of the Lord, as I've taught in my other videos. So what they do, what this body does of the dragon, is get you fat, fed up. They get you fat. They feed you up with hate, fear, and again, importantly, divisive means. They, they want to divide you because that's the only way they can divide and conquer. This is where this term comes from. This is the importance of it, to divide and conquer. This is why they want you to have these contentious attitudes and create all this strife through hate, fear, racial divide, any means necessary to get you fed up and fat. So they're getting you fed up so you'll, you, you can be fat for the slaughter, fat for eating. And again, self-consuming. You become of the serpent of the body instead of being of the body of Christ which is everlasting you become of the body of the serpent the dragon that is self-consuming so there if you feed into it you get fed up you get fat for the slaughter so these people and that's why I say don't feed into it don't buy into it because the scriptures I gave will teach you about this, what it means to be, to not be of the serpent, to be of the body of Christ. And this is very important. Not just the, that one scripture that I gave you, but uh, find the other scriptures in the Bible. This is one, probably the, the most in depth, but there's others about the body of Christ. Understand what it means to be the body of Christ. So you don't get consumed. Now, all of this is important. And again, the Ouroboros, the, the self-consuming dragon, uh, it's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle that repeats itself. Constantly consuming, constantly needing to consume, and constantly needing to get things to feed into it because it grows and gets bigger and has to eat more. So it needs others to feed into it. And what's important to understand, again, it's a cycle, a continuous cycle if you understand the Ouroboros at this point and what I've taught. It will continue to do this until that time of the end 
when God chooses to end it, to lock away the serpent. Now, Ecclesiastes, as I pointed out, chapter 1, verse 9, in many other places, there is no new thing under the sun. This has even happened recently. What's going on right now has happened very recently, within the last hundred years. And it happened with Germany. And it, it's what created the First World War and the Second World War. It was the Democratic Party in the left wing that, it, that incited this First World War, which led to the, the Hitler. And all the events are almost identical to what this nation, America, is going through. The left wing and Democratic Party oppressed and did all these things, these same things, which led to uh, the divide in the nation. And, this, and the way they do this is through this hate and fear, and they create an enemy within. They have to first create an enemy within so that they can hold their power and platform. But eventually, again, the serpent has to continually eat and feed itself. So, when these things, mankind becomes exhausted, people start waking up and seeing what's going on and realize things that the false enemy within has been manufactured, then they have to create an outside enemy. And this is what a lot of people understand to be as false flags or these red flag events like what occurred in 9-11. So the people, the, the enemy within that they fabricate and create, when they can't get people to feed into the internal hate and fear, the serpent still needs to be fed. So they have to incite violence outside of their own nation, creating a war. This is exactly how World War I was kicked off and exactly how World War II was kicked off. The serpent ran out of things to feed on, from within, so it started an outside conflict, and these are the things that are to come unless the people wake up. Don't feed into it and don't buy into the rhetoric and propaganda. They're going to attempt all these things. It is coming, so saith the word. This next war. Again, Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9, no new thing under the sun. If the people don't feed into it with the inauguration day and all this, this hate and fear and divisive uh, tools that they're attempting, then they're going to, and, and it's going to happen because they know their time is short. The serpent knows his time is short because, again, it's happened before. And they know that the people are waking up and seeing the... Uh, seeing just how distorted things are, seeing the lies of the serpent and these evil principalities. So in order to try to hold their power and keep their platform and their power that they so dearly love... If it doesn't work with an enemy from within, they'll try to initiate the war outside, just as the scripture states. They'll create that outside enemy to try to get people to rally behind them because they, they understand that people are fed up 
and tired of dealing with them, tired of seeing the corruption, the oppression. And again, it's happened within the, the most recent hundred years with the Democratic left wing in Germany. They're well, well aware of what's going on, and they're well aware of what they need to do to try to hold their power. Their options are very limited. They either have to have a, an em enemy within to feed that hate and fear, or an enemy outside, or both. They can have both, because again, the serpent likes to eat. So don't feed into it, people. Don't buy into the rhetoric. Stay in the word. God bless.